Okay, we've been banging on about the strangeness of the BMW X6, a fastbacked, hatch haven four door coupe version of the X5 sports activity vehicle since it arrived as a 2008 model. Seven years of backfires comments comparing it to everything from the Pontiac as to the 1980s AMC Eagle Spirit suggest readers agree with thus that it's one odd automotive platypus. Yet more than 250,000 buyers worldwide heard the X6's siren call and took one home. Sort of in the same way some people walk right past Golden Labs to adopt Chinese crested dogs, and in the way that patent leather work boots are a thing. That's just how the free market capitalist economy works. A quarter million isn't a huge number in the greater scheme of things, but it represents enough profit that BMW introduced the second generation X6 for 2017. More than that. It has extended the idea down market to the X4 and is even prepping an X2 for 2017. So all that's left to do is regard the X6 as part of the new normal. For us, that means taking it to the track for some numbers and then driving it around for subjective evaluation. Hey, it's at least as good a time as judging whether the new whiskey and haggis potato chips are as good as the chicken and waffles variety. Like the third gen BMW X5 introduced for 2014. The new X6 rides the same 115.5-inch wheelbase as before. The fastback design has been updated with exterior character lines forecast by last year's X4, but these look better proportioned when stretched over the longer X6, which has gained 1.8 inches in overall length. The redesigned interior departs more dramatically from the past but not at all from recent BMW practice, with a prominent 10.2-inch screen taking center stage on the dash. It's coupled to the latest version of iDrive, which has evolved from its initial status as a horrific burden right on through manageable to a genuinely useful system. This example was graced with a $1,950 cognac interior design package that blended brownish red accents, black leather, and fine line striped wood trim into a plush cabin ambience. It was a little more old school than some of our drivers might prefer, but as with most BMWs, there are many other choices, such as metal rather than wood trim. Remember when the cabin of a BMW was always a black hole with big daylight openings? That's the old normal. The rear seat now has a seat belt for a center occupant where the previous model was strictly a four-seater. BMW correctly calls this 4 plus 1 seating, the center being uncomfortable for anyone but small children, who ought to be in a safety seat anyway. This back seat. The roof line precludes the cramped third row offered in the X5, folds in a 40-20-40 configuration, useful when cargo needs exceed the 26.6 cubic feet of space accessed through the hatch, which is now power operated. Not compromised by the styling is the towing capacity of 6,000 pounds, 48 pounds more than the X5 for unknown reasons and BMW fan site message boards suggest that many owners actually use their X6S to pull a boat, camper, ATVs, or a trailer full of racing or collector cars. Maybe some of these folks are like us after all, if you don't need the enormous capacity of modern pickups or full-size SUVs, the experience of driving an X6 is a far more entertaining way to spend your non-towing road miles. That it will tow, at least is some justification for choosing an X6 rather than a more conventional vehicle. In the sprint to 60 miles per hour, the 2015 X6 did the job in 5.7 seconds, a 0.2 second improvement over the 08 and 0.3 better than the X5 X Drive 35i we tested just over a year ago. The square backed model is heftier by a couple hundred pounds. The X6's advantage continued to 100 miles per hour and in the quarter mile, which this car did in 14.3 seconds at 97 miles per hour. The 08 X6 and the 14 X5 ran 14.6 seconds at 95 and 96 miles per hour. Where the 8 speed and the weight reduction really pay off big is in fuel economy. The EPA ratings of 18 27 mile per gallon city. 
highway represent improvements of 3 and 7 miles per gallon. We saw a real world 21 miles per gallon in this example, the same as we got in the 2014 X5 and fully 5 miles per gallon better than in our 08 testing. If your neighbor's Porsche is your target, BMW offers the 445 horsepower 4.4 liter V8 in its X6X Drive 50i which will square more nicely against Porsche's latest 420 horsepower Kalin S and there's an X6M for those who must rest to top the country club food chain. But now you're talking some long green, as in a six-figure MSRP. Even as equipped, with more than $10,000 in options, this X6 fell short of the $75,000 that Stuttgart commands for an S, the basic. 300 horsepower Kalin starts at $59,295 with standard AWD. Beyond the interior design package, add-ons included $2,500 for the X-Line trim, differently styled 19-inch wheels and aluminum running boards, $1,300 for multi-kinter seats, as well as $3,250 for packages labeled cold weather heated rear seats and steering wheel plus retractable heat light washers, $550, driver assistance, rear view camera and head up display, $1,400, and premium, passive entry, 4 zone automatic climate control, and satellite radio, $1,300, another $750 added side and top view cameras for full surround vision on that big screen, a good thing in a car that can be difficult to see out of using the old, analog eyes and mirrors methods. You could go deeper, of course, and the most tempting option is M Sport. The first step into M Sport land brings mostly visual trimmings but then opens the door to the adaptive M suspension option, which includes the dynamic handling package with adjustable air suspension for the rear axle. The latter is available as a standalone option without M Sport. It would add more than $5,000 to the final tally, but you know going in that swimming with the big platypuses is never cheap.